Surrey's very own Brian May, the guitarist from Queen, um, was called, called out earlier this week during a TV interview. He was being interviewed about global warming on Good Morning Britain when, well, this happened. Have a listen. Global warming is, is a huge issue, but it's not the only issue. We are destroying the habitat of not only ourselves, but, but all the other creatures. And uh, it's going very fast and, and terrifyingly dangerous. It, it, have you got a gas fire in the, in the back of your uh, room, Brian? I have indeed. <laughs> yes. Is it, is it, is it an <laughs> eco... It's frosty here. Is it an eco-friendly one? I've no... I've no idea. <laughs> it's been there a while, so it probably needs updating. Everything needs updating these days, but it's very nice. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I don't think it's uh, it's having a big fo- uh, carbon footprint here. Of course, you, you can burn logs around here if you want, but we don't at the moment. Mm. So a gas fire is bad for the environment, or should we be burning maybe wood instead? Well, I've been speaking to Peter Hillier from Eco Fires and Stoves in Crookham Village, which is near Fleet. Well... It depends how you look at being eco-friendly, really. Um, obviously, everybody's talking about non-fossil fuels at the moment, but with gas fires, what the difference is between the old technology and the new technology. So they are extremely efficient compared to the old ones. Old gas fires were a open fuel bed with a gas burner underneath an open chimney, and when you're running them, they give out a little bit of radiant heat, and all the rest of the heat goes up the chimney. With modern fires... They're basically glass fronted with a with a heat exchanger, which puts warm air into the room. Because you've got a glass front, all the air, the warm air that comes into the room, can't go back up the chimney. So, in simple terms, that's how they become much more efficient than they used to be. Right. So, if you're at home, like we've got, like one of these real flame gas fires at home with no yep. glass front. That's yeah. all. Well, that's the way I've always felt. Where my wife goes, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have a fire? I went, well, hang on, we're just sending it all up to the the pigeon in the in the loft. Do you know what so I mean? That, that's exactly what you're doing. But also, what people don't realise is because you've got that open fire, not only is the uh, the warm air that your fire is producing going up the chimney, but all your central heating and everything else, you've got about a forty percent heat loss up that open chimney. So all that's going up there as well. So it's not just when the fire is operating that you you look at the efficiency of it. You look at the efficiency of the whole house and what's escaping up that chimney right so look i i was thinking about getting a wood burning fire are they eco-friendly or not it's a different story with wood burning because obviously again you're talking the difference between a fossil fuel which is gas and a renewable fuel which is wood burning there's been a lot of bad press with wood burners but i think there's a lot of missing from misinformation out there it's basically down to the the biggest problem with wood burners when they, when people see the smoke coming out the chimney, which is what people consider to be poor, bad for your health and what have you. It's down to poor fuel or user error. The modern uh, wood burning stoves are really really good news if they're used correctly and you buy a good quality one. Right. And what about what kind of wood you stick in it? What what difference does that make? Uh, a massive, massive difference. Basically, um, the wood really has to be hardwoods and they have to be well seasoned or kiln dried. And what that does, it gets the moisture content to below 20%. And that's that's the cutoff point. Ideally, you want 10% moisture. And what is happening, people are buying wood burners. They're, cho- you know, they're taking on wood f- um, from poor suppliers um, and it's damp wood. And the what will happen is that wood burner will spend all its energy trying to burn damp wood, so it's just boiling the moisture within the wood and creating loads of smoke as it does so, uh, and that is the problem. Once you've got a wood burner using good quality fuel, like dry wood, uh, and it's used correctly, you won't even see any smoke coming out of these chimneys, so that's where the problem is. So there's, there's it's a lot about um, educating the end user and the suppliers being well regulated. Right, and that, that is what's happening in 2022 with the new regulations. The, the the wood suppliers, as well as us as installers, they're going to be heavily, much more heavily regulated. And what about you, Pete? What have you got at home? I've actually got a gas fire. Right. I took a wood burner out and put a gas fire in, and the reason for that is I've got a very small room where the wood burner was, and it was just too hot. <laughs> so, so with and this this is um, I should should I should. Um, read from my own Bible, really, because it's something I tell all my customers, is it, is this suitable? Is a wood burner suitable for your home? Because uh, a lot of people just want a wood burner because they like the enjoyment side of it, you know, and that's what a lot of these things are about. What people don't realise is a wood burner or, an, or a gas fire, they're, they're not 
full-time heaters. There's something to be enjoyed that happens to produce heat as well, and you benefit from that whilst you're using them. Where, where I made the mistake, I really wanted to put a wood burner in. Uh, I did, and it just proved to be a little bit hot. My wife um, preferred the convenience of a gas fire, so at the end of the day, we ended up putting a gas fire in, a high-efficiency one where we got control, so we can turn it down, and we got the convenience, don't have to clean it out, and that sort of thing. Well, at the end of the day, she got her way, is what you actually mean. She got her way. Yeah, exactly. there you go. <laughs> she All always right. gets her way. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, getting the cue on that one. Uh, Peter Hillier from Eco Fires and Stoves in Crickham Village explaining that.